this is Kadir from Skin First Before Beauty. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to just sit and talk to you girls about makeup and the makeup budget. Because we all of us have a budget. <laughs> Excuse me. All of us have a budget. But some of us don't need a budget. Which is awesome. For the rest of us, we need to think about a budget. If we don't have one, we should get one. We should actually plan it out. You girls talk, hear me talk all the time about third things I just can't purchase right away because my budget won't allow it. And that's because we need, let me phrase it a different way. I love makeup. I love skincare. And you know that. But we have to, you know, we just have to pay, keep the lights on. Frick, frick, basically that's what it is. We just have to keep the lights on sometimes. But sometimes we don't have a philosophy because makeup seems to be so easy to get, right? Is at drugstores, is at our Earth, Ulta, is at Sephora, is at Beautylish, is at all these different places. It's so easy to drive by, fly by, walk by, and get a palette, or get a piece of eyeshadow, or get a creamer, or get an underlighter, or get a corrector, and it adds up. It just simply adds up, and especially since sometimes you could get something for twenty dollars or less, or it seems like it's just forty bucks. And our average palette is ranging around forty-five dollars, right? And sometimes we don't think about it, and I want us to start thinking about about it. I want us to hold on to what we need to do first so we can enjoy it. I don't want makeup to be stressful for us. Makeup is fun for us, okay? And I don't want it to be such a, it's not a painful experience when we purchase it. It's not a painful experience when we use it. It's a painful experience when we leave the makeup area and our face is all pretty, our skin feels good. And the husband, the lover, or the kids say, what happened? And you'd be like, oh my God, what what, I, what did I just do? Boy, I, you need what right now? What? So, I want us to really think about it. I want, to, I want you to have a plan. I want you to have a budget. I want you to think of a monthly budget. Because they're usually for people who really like makeup, we're buying makeup every month. We're buying something. We're either replacing our eyeshadow cleaner. We're either replacing our primers. We're replacing something. Okay. Not on top. And then on top of that, then we're purchasing something new. Now, of course, we love makeup, and makeup is a business. And all our favorite companies. Oh my God. Too Faced, Urban Decay, Kat Von D, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It, they bring give us great makeup geek. They give us something almost every season. Every kind of pick a season. There's something for summer. There's something for fall. There's something for autumn. There's something for, shoot, New Year. There's always a palette going on. And like I said, you could, just with the palettes, you could end up spending 200 bucks without thinking about it. If you just buy four palettes a year, averaging $45, then it's like $51 and change for tax. Okay. And even now, right now, I have Modern Romance. I have Visart. I have Naked 2. I have Beauty Killer. Okay? And I have an e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. And I know there's ladies who does makeup videos out there, my sisters, who have way more than that. Right? This is just, this, my little stash here is not even a quarter of their stash. Right? And it, but it's relative to them to their budget on how they receive their palettes. But when you're watching us or you're thinking about this others, I, everything is a real cost. All right. Enough with the lecture. This is how I want you to think about your budget. All right. I want you to think about three questions. And I am actually tagging Miss Naya. I am tagging Welcome House. I'm tagging Dania Lanise. Okay, on this because I want to know what they're thinking about their makeup budget too. Because, like, I'm, I'm always talking about eyeshadows because that's where we sometimes put the bulk of our money first without thinking about it. That's Even though it's $45, we will drop $45 on eyeshadow before we buy something that might last six months. 
like an oil for our skin because you'd be like $105 for an oil for my skin that is too much even though that might last six months instead of a palette right I mean, even though it might last 18 months you're not really using for 18 months okay because it's just one or many so first question is what palette are you saving for right now okay and right now the palette I'm saving for is called is from Juvia and it's called the Nubian 2. And it is a makeup own brand. Makeup own brand. I am so sorry. A black owned brand. Okay. And I've been looking at this and I'm sorry. I've been looking at this for over a year. And what happens is I'm thinking about this brand. I'm going to purchase this brand, which is actually cheaper. It's like around 35 bucks or 30 bucks with the coupon. But of course, the commercial, you end up choosing the commercial. So I have to take, I have to stop myself too. Because sometimes I look at the commercial and I'm like, no, what am I doing? I have to literally write this down. So that's my next palette as far as eyeshadow is concerned. Okay. Oh. And the ones that I'm not saving for, because I don't need to, I'm looking for is my beautiful girl, Jackie Anya. I'm a, whenever I, I think I'm going to have to order her online. But she's part of the, she has an e.l.f. line. And e.l.f. is a product that I feel no guilt purchasing. Because the prices are so reasonable. It's cheaper than driving through. Some e.l.f. products cheaper than driving through Wendy's. So... If you do have an addiction, you can sit there and say, today I'm not going through Wendy's. Today I'm going and buying a little thing from e.l.f. And that's awesome. Okay? And that is a pain-free purchase. Pain-free purchase. I want us to consider doing that. All right. Now, what palette, the second question is, what palette would you break the budget for? You know what your budget is. You know what you can spend on a monthly basis. And you know if there's a reason that this month you shouldn't be spending anything because you have what you need to put be pretty all right but let's say you have a monthly budget what would you break your budget on oh my god i can't think of an eye palette right now okay there is one the urban decay um moon dust i wasn't planning on purchasing that I think it's around 45 bucks but I keep looking at that and I'm a belly dancer okay I like shiny okay I'm so I like shiny so I'm sitting there looking at Dania and she's like looking so pretty and I'm like dang it dang it dang it this wasn't even it wasn't not it was so off the page it wasn't in even in the house as a topic and I'm sitting there looking at her going so I could probably break my budget on that palette and it makes me mad. But I could I feel like if I walk into Sephora and I see that, I might end up walking out with that palette. Now, third question is what palette would you never purchase because of the price? It doesn't matter if you have the money or not. Okay? What would you sit there and say, I am not buying that flip flapping thing okay for me for me there's this palette by Danona I think that's how we I think that's how she pronounced her name and it's um, the price is $289 okay for the palette and I know when you break it down she gives you so many eyeshadows it breaks down reasonably pretty much when you break it down by you know eyeshadow but I can't I can't spend $289 after tax 315 okay thank you for free shipping hours but you know that's $315 oh my god that is I'm sorry that is a car payment that is a mortgage payment that could even be your insurance payment okay I just I can't do it I'm just I just cannot spend a mortgage payment on the eyeshadow palette. I'd rather buy four or five eyeshadow palettes through the year instead of spending that on that one eyeshadow palette. It ha listen, the only way I'm going to get that, someone has to give that to me for free. Okay? 
I'm not I'm not sure. That's never gonna happen. Okay, for that purchase, I'm not even gonna rent. That is never going to happen. So in conclusion, I mean right now I'm talking about eye palettes just because it's so easy to spend a hundred dollars without thinking about it. Okay, because you found moon dust, right? And that's fifty bucks. And then you buy the palette you actually wanted, that's another fifty bucks. You dropped a hundred bucks plus tax without even thinking about it in a month. Sometimes if you do impulse buying because you saw it and you weren't thinking about it. And that's what I'm fighting right now is that impulse buy. I'm not walking for the past six weeks. I did not walk into Alta in the past six weeks. I did not walk into Sephora because my budget was so specific that I knew I go in there. I said I could make it work. And it doesn't matter if you could make it work, should you make it work. You know, please think about a budget, hold on to it, and enjoy your makeup. Anyway, I do love you girls. I can't wait to see what Dania, I can't wait to see what Welcome House, I can't wait to see what Miss Naya say about a makeup budget. Anyway, and I'm wearing modern renaissance today, which I love. Anyway, I love you girls. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.